Hello students, in this video I'm going to teach you how to do metric conversions. Get those metric scales out and handy, hit pause when you need to. I'm going to take you through a few examples here. In the very first example, we're going to convert 167.5 milligrams into hectograms. I have a little algorithm for doing this. This method is called moving the decimal, and we're literally going to do that. I have to answer two questions though before I can do the conversion. I have to figure out the number of steps that I need to move and I need to figure out what direction. And that's where the metric scale is gonna help us. If you have it memorized, this becomes much easier. Okay, so remember we are in milli, and I'm going to hecto. Okay, so from the number line there, you can see that's 10 to the minus three. So for milli, it's really that minus three that we're interested in, and then hecto is 10 to the second. So the, the exponents are really what we're gonna to use to find the steps. So now we can just ignore the tens, Go back to an elementary problem in your, where your teacher asked you how many places or how many steps separate these two points on the number line. And you learn to just subtract the two. Two minus a negative three is five steps, which I can confirm by looking at my metric scale. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, the next question is, how, what direction do I go? <clears throat> well, I just showed you. I went from milli to hecto, and that's clearly going in the left direction. So those are the two big questions. Now that we know that, we can simply write down the number we're trying to convert, 167.5, and go five places to the left. So move that decimal, one, two, three, from wherever the decimal is, that's three, four, and five. New decimal there, put two zeros in those empty baskets. And if we can rewrite that for neatness, 1675, Keep these two zeros here because those are placeholders. You have four sig figs in this answer. Hectograms. All right, so let's real quickly go to the next example. The number of steps that separate, in this case, we're going from 0.84 centigrams to micrograms. All right, so centi is minus two. I just want that exponent. Micro is minus six. So that is going to be just four steps, minus six, minus a negative two, that's four steps. Now, if you look at your metric scale, you'll see that you go a different direction this time. It'll be to the right. If you need to hit pause and verify that to yourself, please do so. All right, so now we're just gonna put 0.84 down. Notice where the decimal is. Follow your instructions, four steps to the right. One, two, three, and four. Put zeros there. Now this time we're not gonna write the decimal because now the number we have is 8,400. These two zeros here are just placeholders, so we don't wanna actually show the decimal, and that's in micrograms. Okay, now we have one more example here to do like this. I would really like you to hit pause and try the third example on your own, and then I'll go through it. All right, now that you've tried it, you've got kilo to nano. Kilo is 10 to the third. Nano is 10 to the minus 9. So track those two to get your number of steps. That's 12 steps. So a very, very big conversion. This one is also to the right. And now we take that number down, 7.2, and we move it 12 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Put in a lot of placeholding zeros, lots and lots of placeholders. Okay, and we would probably write that one into scientific notation if you've watched that video because that's such a big number. All right, there's one other method I can show you really quick. It's using the shortcut method, and this is for those who really have this thing memorized. So all we do in the shortcut method is we just write the number as we see it, 0.15, and I want to replace the first prefix that I want to change. In this case, it's pico with a power of 10 that represents. So look at your number line. Pico represents minus 12. And then we're gonna to go to deci. So we're just going to subtract that minus one. And then that gives us 0.15 times 10 to the minus 11. And then we can just put that in proper scientific notation. 1.5 times 10, move it one place to the right. That's negative, so minus 12. And there, that's a new unit conversion. All right, and then we have the same thing, 6.48 teraliters. Tera is 10 to the 12th minus centi, which is minus two. And that one gives me 6.48 times 10 to the 14th. And that's all I need for this answer. 